the concept of uh, audiophile came to us due to a friend of mine who got uh, this viral disease which basically uh, made him lose his hearing uh, and when we searched to find a solution for this the only solution we found was a cochlear implant which uh, needs surgery to be placed and also is very expensive so we decided to come up with this concept of creating a digital array uh, which will uh, transform the sound into motion which could be felt on the skin and uh, this is uh, what we're uh, trying to get funded for. This is a unit we built uh, so we can demonstrate what it will actually look like. Uh, it uh, consists of uh, uh, an array of 10 by 10 pins. Uh, these pins vibrate uh, from, uh, according to the frequencies of uh, the sound waves which come in through a microphone. Uh, are digitized and each pin will represent a particular frequency uh, between the range of 200 Hertz and 3500 Hertz which is basically the frequency of human speech. So uh, as these um, pins are, uh, vibrate they actually feel like a graphic equalizer. You can place the device on your skin either in the belly area or back area and that will um, give the opportunity for someone who's wearing it to be able to feel the sound around them and uh, be able to after a little training understand what people are saying around them that will also give them the opportunity when they repeat a sound to be able to realize whether it's a correct sound or not let me tell you a little bit about the history of vocoders vocoders uh, were researched a lot back in the 1930s before the war because they were used for uh, communication purposes, for scrambling communication. Back in the 1950s and 60s, a lot of uh, research was done on tactile vocoders, and um, uh, they had great results. Uh, they, the problem with those uh, systems was that they were mainly using large computers and uh, large tactile systems uh, to uh, portray the uh, feel onto the body uh, so they were not very useful with regards to uh, being able to use every in everyday life it wasn't until the uh, 1990s where the technology of making mobile small units uh, became available but that's also when cochlear implants were introduced and due to the cochlear implants uh, all the research regarding uh, tactile uh, vocoders basically stopped uh, cochlear implants are a great solution, but they have two drawbacks. The one drawback is uh, the fact that you need surgery to implant it. The second drawback is that it's extremely expensive. Uh, the range, cost range is between $50,000 and $150,000. So a lot of people don't have access to this kind of money, so they can't install them. While uh, the uh, audio field system we're uh, planning on producing uh, will uh, range between $500 and $1,000, which is uh, uh, hopefully something that people will have more access to. Audiofield needs your help to get this project up and going. So if you could donate for the funding of this project or uh, inform your friends about the funding of this project and they can donate, that would be uh, great. Thank you very much.